friends. I decided to stand today. Trying some stuff out. Not sure what's working. Just a really quick note to the parents. I am planning on sending you some stuff to do in an email. I just been focused on videos, so I haven't gotten to it yet. But it's coming. I promise. Also, I heard that one of our friends, Mr. Elijah, has watched my videos and has liked them very much. So hi, Elijah. I'm glad to know that you're watching. I would love to hear from any other friends that have seen the videos. It lets me know that I'm not just talking to the void. Well, now that that's out of the way, I think we should get started with our calendar for today. Here I am at my calendar again, but I think I see something different. Do you see something different? Is it here? Or maybe here? Oh, maybe it's there. I think that's our number today. What number do you think it is? Good guess! It's the number 25! That's two bundles and five sticks left over. Now, just like at school, we'll put our finger on the red number and follow it up to the word, and we see that today is what what wednesday which starts with a W. Our month is still March. That hasn't changed yet. So now, just like at school, we can say that today is Wednesday, March 25th, 2020. Yay! Okay, now that we've done calendar, get ready to sing Weather Watcher and go check the weather at your house. Are you ready? Weather Watcher, Weather Watcher, what do you see? What do you see? Tell us what the weather's like, tell us what the weather's like, won't you please? Won't you please? Well, what's it like out there? Sunny? Cloudy? Rainy? Is it snowing? It's probably not snowing. We live in Florida. Which is what state? That's right, it's the Sunshine State. I realized after I got today's video all ready to go up on the internet that I forgot to sing a song yesterday. So we're gonna sing one right now. Do you guys remember In Right Out Right? It's one of Miss Abby's favorites. So if we're gonna sing In Right Out Right, you gotta get your thumbs ready. Make sure Mommy and Daddy do this one with you because it's just so much fun. I'm in right out right up right down right happy all the time i'm in right out right up right down right happy all the time since jesus christ came in and saved my soul from sin i'm in right out right up right down right happy all the time can we go faster I'm in right out right up right down right happy all the time I'm in right out right up right down right happy all the time since Jesus Christ came in and saved my soul from sin I'm in right out right up right down right happy all the time you want to go as fast as we can I'm in right out right up right down right happy all the time I'm in right out right up right down right happy all the time since Jesus Christ came in and saved my soul from sin I'm in right out right up right down right happy all the time <sighs> So yesterday I started talking about spring and how all of the earth comes back awake after winter time So a long time ago when God made the world he decided that springtime was when all the rain would come and all of the trees would start making more leaves and all of the animals would come out of hibernation and start having their babies. That's why right around springtime you see a lot of pictures of baby bunnies and baby sheep and baby chickens and baby cows and butterflies and frogs and ladybugs, all sorts of fun creatures that have been hiding all winter and now they can come back out to play. I bet if you and mommy and daddy were to go on a nature walk right now, you'd see all sorts of stuff. Maybe if you do that, you can take some pictures and send them to me. I would love to see them. So yesterday, we talked about butterflies, and I read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. But did you know there's another animal that starts as one thing and changes into another? There is. It's called a frog. So I would like to read this book. It's called The Caterpillar and the Pollywog, and it's one of my favorite books from when I was little. All right, get cozy. I'm going to read now. Caterpillars aren't like other folks. As ducks and hippopotamuses and you and I get older, 
we get bigger. Especially hippopotamuses. But not caterpillars. They turn into butterflies. Turning into something else like that is not a thing just anybody can do. Down by the pond, there lived a caterpillar who was very proud of being different. She bragged about it to her friends. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the snail. That's nice, said the snail, who really didn't care one way or the other. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the turtle. I don't blame you, said the turtle, who didn't much like wiggly things. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the pollywog. What fun, said the pollywog. What are you going to turn into? But the caterpillar hurried on her way, looking for someone else to tell her secret to. I wish I could turn into something else when I grow up, said the pollywog. You will, said the fish. All pollywogs do. What am I going to turn into, the pollywog asked. But the fish saw a tasty bug and dashed after it. When I grow up, said the caterpillar, who had circled the pond and was going around for the second time. When I grow up, she told the pollywog again, I'm going to turn into something else. So am I, said the pollywog. You? The caterpillar was so surprised, she almost fell into the pond. The fish said so, the pollywog told her. Fish know things. They go to school. The caterpillar was upset. I thought only caterpillars could do it, she said rather sadly. What are we going to turn into? the pollywog asked. Well, I'm going to turn into a butterfly, said the caterpillar. Then I guess I will too, the pollywog said happily. What fun! Let's do it together! All right, the caterpillar agreed, although she would rather have done it alone. But I get to go first. The pollywog didn't mind. He wasn't at all sure how it was done. I'll watch you, he said. So when the time came, the caterpillar started to spin a cocoon. This is the tricky part, she said. The pollywog watched as the caterpillar spun. Soon, only her head was uncovered. Now I have to close the lid, she said. When I come out, I'll be a butterfly. Go ahead, the pollywog said excitedly. I want to see you do it. It will take a while, the caterpillar warned. She started spinning again and was soon out of sight. For a long time, nothing happened. But the pollywog was patient. He watched and watched and watched. For days, and days, and days. At last, there was activity in the cocoon. The end of it opened, and very slowly, the caterpillar climbed out. Only she wasn't a caterpillar anymore. She was a butterfly, a beautiful yellow butterfly. The pollywog was so excited, he hopped up and down with delight. He hopped up and down like a frog. I was so busy watching you, he said. I didn't notice what was happening to me. You're a very handsome frog, the butterfly said as she flew off to try out her new wings. But the frog was puzzled. I thought I was going to be a butterfly, he said. The caterpillar wiggled by. When I grow up, he said proudly to the frog, I'm going to turn into something else. But the frog wasn't listening. He was admiring his reflection in the water. I am, you know, a very handsome frog, he said. I like that book so much. The frog is just so silly thinking he's going to turn into a butterfly. Although I will say, I don't really think that caterpillar was being very nice to him. But 
it all worked out in the end because he was so happy. Well, that wraps up my time for today. I hope you liked the video. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!